Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter, and I have an unboxing that I wanna share with you today. First, before I get into this, it looks much better today, but a couple of days ago, I got stung right there on my thumb from what I believe was a hornet, and I have been out of commission since. It just kept swelling and swelling and swelling, but now it seems overnight it is gone down quite a bit, but it's still kind of poofy, poofy, poofy compared to this hand, right? Anyway, um, I'm like, I couldn't even bend my wrist. I couldn't hardly make a fist, couldn't diamond paint, couldn't do nothing. And I've been drunk off my butt on Benadryl for two solid days. So anyway, this ended up on my porch yesterday and I was so sad because I wasn't able to unbox it yesterday, but I'm going to unbox it today. So, uh, let's get into this one. I'm super pumped to share it with you. Um, so, let me uh, get into the box and pull out this bad boy. And then, in the meantime, while I'm unboxing it or pulling it out of this big box, you tell me how you're doing in the comments section. Okay, so now I finally got it out of the big box. And I'm just going to pull... The plastic wrap off um, and get into it. So maybe, maybe, maybe. I'll tell you one thing about having your right hand not work well is you learn how to do things with your non-dominant hand. Your, in that case, my left hand. I'm like, mm. okay. So. Uh, Plastic wrap is off. Should be able to get rid of the scissors. All right. So, um, I'm going to make, I'm going once I have a good look over this canvas, um, there's something in it that I plan to make a change with. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see how that will go. But first let's talk about this toolkit. Okay, and um, yeah, we'll talk about the toolkit real quick. So this is one of the newer toolkits. I know that they've been like switching over um, and I think that they're like all switched over now. I'm not positive, but we have some stabby uh, tweezers. These are the like super sharp tweezers. I always recommend that you keep that cap on there. Um, we have, ooh, a pretty purple diamond painting pen. Mm -hmm. Hard to get that stuff out of there. Ooh, there's a multi-placer. Okay, I think that's it. We have some extra baggies to store your diamonds in. We have a purple squishy for our pen. Here goes right like this. Well, I'm not gonna be able to, but you, you get the gist, right? And I'm not able to do much with them. This thumb doesn't wanna bend very well. Uh, we have a couple multi-placers, a four placer and a seven placer. And we have a pink wax that's stored in this little heart-shaped caddy. And we have our new Diamond Art Club tray with gold glitter flaky pieces in there. It comes with a stopper to keep your drills from flying everywhere. Um, these are really cool. I like these new trays a lot. Pretty washi tape. Ooh, that's pretty. It looks like purple flowers. Not sure if that's, it looks very blurry on the screen, but I think it's because it actually is kind of fuzzy looking. Let's see what it looks like when I open it up some, if I can get a hold of it. Oh. Okay, here we go. You can see the flower design on it is really pretty. Okay. And then we have a, oh my 
my goodness, it's a donut. Yay, I love donuts. It's a donut cover minder. Yay. Got the little magnets on the back. Love it. I love donuts. So, yeah, that's a fun cover minder. Put it on my little camera arm there. That's where I usually store most of them. So, let's put the goodies back up. Put all the goodies away. So, did you tell me how you're doing in the comments? I hope so. I love to know how you guys are doing. Because it's not no fun whenever my, my peeps aren't having the best time, you know? I like to know how my, my people are doing. Oh wow, this is a big kit. I think I knew that, but I must have forgotten. Ooh. Nothing else in the box. Is the box empty? Looks to be empty. Okay. We have our little side sticker that I put on the side of the box. We'll move that over there. Um, so the Diamond Art Club canvases always come in this little plastic, like, dust cover. Um, and I'll be honest, when I put my diamond paintings back in their box after I open them, I don't usually, um, put it back in the dust cover. I usually throw the dust cover away, but, oh goodness, okay, throw it away. Let's look at the drills. So we have our canvas here. We have our large sticker sheet here, and we have our beautiful drills here. Very large amount of drills. Oops. And then we have our little paper here, our little thank you paper that tells us um, inside here how to diamond paint, what's included in the kit, all the things. Um, you get a neat little QR code there that you can scan if you want to um, visit their Facebook group, the VIP Facebook group. Facebook group. And then we have QR codes here on the back for um, discounts. So use those discounts. Yes, use those discounts. Okay. All right, moving those drills out of the way. And then I'm going to open this up. Let me make sure I open it the correct way so that um, you guys. Ooh, it's a big one. It's really, really big. Big, 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 big. Really big. Okay, so I'm gonna probably have to scoot the camera out to be able to see all of it. Um, but do you guys wanna see what it is? You want me to show you now? It is Country Blessings from Chuck Pinson. So how many of y'all knew that I was gonna get this one? I'm sure there's a lot of you that were like, I knew it was that one, I knew it was that one. So this is the one that I grabbed. It's Country Blessings by Chuck Pinson. It is a square drill diamond painting. It is 93 centimeters by 70, wow. It has, oh my goodness, 66 colors. All together, we have one, two, three ABs. Looks like we have a couple of green, brownish shades, maybe a green shade, a brown shade, and an orange. Um, so we'll look at those here in just a few minutes when we look at the canvas. But how pretty is this? Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it gives me all the feels. And so one thing that I noticed, I'm hoping that you'll be able to see it on the canvas, is that this barn here, um, like you can see the sun is coming up um, or potentially going down. I don't know yet. Um, but it's, if this, I, th I think this is supposed to be like a metal roof on this barn. Um, and you can see like the highlights, the sun like blaring down on the cabin. You can see like this, the, the light of the sun 
on the side here in the red part and then on the roof of the cabin or I mean barn sorry been a drill brain uh, but yeah so we have the beautiful tractor the cows the church the steeple the beautiful fall leaves Ooh, we have a swing here some ducks and flowers and the part that I'm wanting to make a change to is going to be this rainbow so I'll talk about that in a second whenever I get into the canvas oh my goodness it's so pretty okay the back side of the canvas is very very soft Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is incredible. Okay, yeah, let me zoom you out just a smidge. That should be good right there. Um, I could have rolled it backwards, but it should be all right in just a couple minutes. With the canvas laying down nice and flat um okay so this is a very big canvas but we have a legend up here on the um, top left and one down here on the bottom right again it's got 66 colors the um detail in this this has got a lot of detail these little ducks down here like you can see a lot of the detail in this particular duck right here you can see its face and its beak and oh it's so cute and then we have some turkeys uh, gobble 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 we have some cows looks like we have a little shed here um, there's a small tractor right here a larger tractor right here this puts me in the mind of a tractor that my dad owned um, uh, yeah, love it. And the barn, there's another out, there's lots of outbuildings. So here's another little out building. Um, there's a fence. You can see the black, um, fence throughout there. This right here looks like possibly like, um, I'm not sure. It kind of looks like a garden, maybe. Uh, okay, it looks like a wooden barrel right here. And then some corn stalks or something up here. I'm not positive, but that's right there where, where I'm talking about. Oh, and then back here in the distance, you can see a covered bridge. See it back here? You can see it right there. The road that goes through the covered bridge. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So the church is beautiful. Look at the big, beautiful steeple. Oh, my goodness. Is this supposed to be like a clock? Not sure. And then you can see some smoke coming out of the chimney here. Um... At the church, there's a little log cabin back there. Lots of like foliage, like fall foliage colors. We've got this beautiful tree swing, uh, rope swing. Oh, wow. So many things. And then you have lots of different buildings up in here. Looks like more little cabins. Um, Pulling it down so I can see, minus the glare. Um, there seems to be another little cabin or something up here, like in the mountains. You can see the beautiful mountains back here in the distance, some birds. And then we have this, like right here is where the sun is like going behind some clouds. And then here is a rainbow. And the rainbow is what I wanted to talk about. We have another bird here. I can't tell if that's, I'm not sure what kind of bird that is. Uh, but 
I do want to discuss this rainbow. So, when I seen the original, um, I think it was the principal painter, Kara, the principal painter, had showed her sneak peek video of this one. And, oh, my God, I was like, I gotta have that. I knew as soon as I saw that painting, this was gonna be mine, right? But I wasn't positive about that rainbow. I just, there was something about the rainbow that I was like, I don't know about the rainbow. And so, I looked at the original artwork and which is right here, you can see that you can see the different colors of the rainbow, right? There's like the red or purple. I'm not sure how that goes. I think it's purple, red, yellow, green, blue. Then you can see the variation of colors right there, right? But on the canvas, I don't feel like that comes through. On the canvas, I feel like you're only seeing, like, oh, uh, possibly, because there's, maybe that would be the purple, the orange, yellow, green, blue. Yeah, I just feel like the definition isn't really there in the rendering of it. Let me kind of roll this back here a little bit. But you can't really, I can't really tell. Now, maybe it's different when I lay some drills on it. We'll see. But I do want to, if not, then I definitely want to do something to make that look. Because I, at first, I'm not even going to lie. I couldn't tell. I was like, what is that supposed to be? When, before I heard her say that it was a rainbow and before I actually looked at the, like, original artwork. Um, because, you know, normally you see like an actual rainbow or this looked like just like a sunburst just opened up through a hole and is like shooting out or something it's kind of what I saw when I first looked at it so yeah um I want to definitely define that rainbow a little bit more um and you guys know Randy um our good friend over there at you can call me butter um has her uh bling up the daggone thing service you know and she's i'm gonna be um speaking with her about that um and i'm not sure you know i want to talk to her about um using maybe jellies um yeah I'm, I'm not sure if jellies would be the right thing to use but for some reason i was just like maybe jellies would look good there but i do want to define that rainbow a little bit more than what we than what it's showing on here I want it to resemble more of what it looks like on the the canvas. You know, it looks like you see the yellow, but here it's like that's mostly all you see is yellow. So, anyway, that's the only major change or the only real change I wanted to make to the canvas um, when I start to diamond paint it. Um, everything else is perfect, perfect, perfect. The cows are beautiful. It, this just really, the flowers, oh my God, I loved. And then you can see the little, two little bluebirds here. There's one there, one here. Looks like, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a butterfly or maybe a, I can't tell. Is that supposed to be a butterfly right there on that wagon wheel? No, I think they're flowers. They're like bluebells or something. Um, but... It is gorgeous. Um, but it totally reminds me of, you know, growing up on a farm. And, you know, it's so weird. Even as a young kid when I was little, there's a, there's a picture, okay, that my mom and dad have had in this house my whole life. I'll have to show a picture of that. I would actually love to know where it originated from and possibly even get a copy of that as a custom or something to to diamond paint because it has a lot of meaning to me but anyway back to this this is kind of the same thing you know like as a kid i would envision i would see artwork when i was little and it if it reminded me of something then i would like envision me in that picture you know what i'm saying um and so this totally puts me in the mind of, of, um, growing up in the country on a farm and, um, 
mostly my granddad's, my granddad's farm, because, you know, whenever I was growing up, the farm that we lived on wasn't at that point an actual working farm, but my grandparents' farm was, you know, I mean, he, he had horses. If, they, if these would have been horses, that would have been all the better, because my papa didn't have cows, but he had horses, and this barn reminds me of his barn. These outbuildings remind me of his outbuildings. The tractor reminds me of, of my dad. Um, there's a covered bridge that we have in the county that we live in. Um, the church, there's churches that remind me of this, you know. And so there's just a lot of things in this that, that remind me of growing up. And those are the paintings that I love the most is the ones that hit me in the feel good, you know. So... But let's take a look. Um, first of all, let's dig down here and see how clear these symbols are. Sorry for shaking you around. But you can see here how clear these symbols are. Very clear, always very clear. Their Diamond Art Club symbols are always magnificent, right? And now I'm gonna scoot you back out a little bit so that we can take a look at uh, where these um, ABs are gonna go. But I need to open this up and we'll go through the colors. So many pretty colors. Oh. Okay, right off the bat here, we have some 3755, some 453, yeah, and another bag of 453. Really pretty. These are some beautiful colors. Oh, I got it upside down. Hold on. Sorry for all the crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Okay, we have some 606. It's a beautiful reddish orange. We have a couple bags of that. Pretty. We have some 937. Couple bags. We have a couple bags of 740. Some 934. Some 132, which is a bag of ABs. There's quite a bit of ABs in there, too. It's an orange AB, very pretty. I'm assuming these are gonna be in a lot of the leaves. I could be wrong, but we have some 898, some 935, some 809, 469. Let me scoot you down here a little bit so you can see these colors better. Some 947, three bags of that. We have some 666, the devil, the devil number, fiery red. <laughs> some 938, some 322, okay. Next up, we have some 470. A couple bags of that. It's like a pea green. Some 30, 33. 754. 951. These squares look so good. 951. Yeah, a couple bags of that. 33, 46. We have a couple bags. 
$4.98, couple bags. It's a really pretty deep, deep, like burgundy, I wanna say. Some thirty forty two, four thirteen, three seventeen, three thirty four, thirty eight sixty one, eight thirty three, thirty sixty four, eight fourteen, couple bags. Okay. And we have some thirty eight fifty eight, seven seventy nine, three twenty one, seven forty two, thirty forty one, one thirty five is another AB. There's quite a bit in this bag too, and it's a green color. I wonder where that's going to go. Eight thirty eight, thirty seven twenty seven. 105 is our other AB, and that's a brown. Ooh, I'm excited to see where that goes to. Okay, some 3722, 435, 930, 471, 3726, 832, 3834, and 3776. And our last little train here, we've got 3325, 3821, 3854, 3750, 3855, 550, 165, 3766, 3860, 312, 336, 3837, 300, 3843, 400, 3865, 3849, 959, 959, <laughs> 961, and then 727. And that is that. That's all of our colors. I'm gonna move these two bags because I think these ones are the ones that has our ABs in it. Okay, let's take a gander. This one had, here we go, ABs there. Mm. Okay, so this 135 on our, let me zoom you back out some. Okay, the 135 is our symbol three over here on the legend, this green. So let's find the symbol three. Okay, I already spot some. Down here in the grass. There's some couple through here, here. So they're sprinkled throughout the grass area. All in the grass. All the way across. Let's see if there's some up here in the trees. We have some here. Okay, yeah, we do have some in this tree here. Um. We have some in this tree here on the edge. Looks like we have some more up here in this trees. Here, here. So we have quite a bit of that. We have quite a bit of, the, of that three in a lot of the grass and in the foliage, the leaves and things. Nice. And then the next AB we have is this 105. It's that brown color. 
and that is the symbol one on the canvas. Okay, and we have a lot of that down here also in the grass or the ground, I would say. That's more like the, is that like just a dirt path or let me look. It's hard to see it this close up. Yeah, okay, it looks like a driveway or a path. So there's a lot of that there. Um, a lot of that throughout the brown through the dirt. And then we have some coming up the rope swing here. We have some brown ABs coming up the rope part of the swing. Um, and more of them going up through here on the swing. Um, we have some ones that are shading this entire cow right here on the outer edge of this cow. Um, where else would you be? Looking, looking, looking. We have some on this outer building here. Um, pull this down a little bit further and see if we can see any up here. I'm not seeing any up here unless I'm completely missing it. Hmm. Oh, here's a few right here. Um, so they're kind of spaced out throughout just a little bit here and there, but down here <clears throat> on the ground, that's where the majority of them are going to be is down here in the path or the, I'm not sure if this is like a path or a driveway kind of gives me like the driveway feel because you know, it's clear here on each side and then you have the patch of grass goes in the middle, you know, so that kind of gives me like driveway vibes. Okay, so we have one more AB. Let me grab that one. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, here we go. Here we go. This 132 is number two on the canvas. And that will be, um, here we have some in the flower. We have some in the flowers over here, just this orangey part of the flowers. Um, we have some that goes all along the top of this tractor. Some more in the flowers over here. We have some in the, the orangey parts of the barn where the sun is like shining on the side of the barn. Um, We have some over here in these flowers right here. Um, we have some in the tree. There's a lot of them in this tree right here. There's a lot of them in this tree here. We have some over here. These windows are lit up here in this cabin with those orange ABs, so it looks like the lights are on in there. Um, lots more here in this foliage and a lot of these oranges in there along that tree have that in it, that AB. Also up here, so it's an, a lot of the tree you know, which is where I figured it would be. And then down here, this right here is a lot of that orangey AB. So, yes, that is going to look very, very nice. Very, very nice. I'm not sure, um, I'm not sure how I feel about the, the, the grass being the green ABs. Yes, I like that. The brown dirt, 
I'm not so sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure. I, I'm not good at, you know, now that I've like to had this discussion with Randy about what to bling and what not to bling, I'm kind of like, what does the brown, what's the brown dirt going to do? What's that going to, is it going to make it look like wet? Like it's been rain? Well, I mean, obviously it's been raining because we have clouds and a rainbow, right? So is the, the ground supposed to, you know, supposed to look like wet? Maybe that's why. I don't know. I don't know. Who am I to question? I'm not, I'm not, that's not my jam. That's not my cup of tea. So, uh, but anyway, that is all I have for you guys. Um, but before I go, I will share more about the sticker. If you didn't know, um, Diamond Art Club started giving us these cool little stickers that for your label to label your storage and they're all individually like whatever, you know, um, I like that a lot. So you don't have to cut each and every one out. That makes it super handy dandy, but I'm, I'm anxious to see what I'm going to end up doing with this rainbow. You know, I'm anxious to see what I'm going to do with this to make it, um, look special. So yeah. All right, you guys, this is all I have for today. I hope you guys have had an amazing day. It's today is Thursday. I'm hoping I can get this video up today since I've not posted anything all week. Um, but yes, keep an eye out uh, for new stuff, all right? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I can't, now I'm not at the point where I can't bend this these fingers to make a thumbs up. So thumbs up, <laughs> give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you hang around with us and hit the notification bell, ding, 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 to get notified each and every time I upload a new video or go live. I go live on Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bring your coffee, bring your diamond painting. Let's have a good time. I'll see you then, I hope. Um, and that's it for me. You guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week. Have a perfect, enjoyable, hopefully beautiful weathered weekend, all right? Um, link to this will be in the description box below. If you're new to Diamond Art Club, there's a 15, I think it's 15% off discount code in my description box for you to use to save you a little bit of money. But there's also a 20% off discount code on their website. So I would use that one first. Okay. Okay. Uh, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.